sample as well as a batch of quantitative samples, which is going to be similar to the batch that we submitted for the test mixes. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our hardware configuration is correct. So we're going to double click on the hardware configuration. We do have it activated for the entire system, the LCMS. We are going to check and make sure that we have the correct profile or project listed, which is correct. Then we will go to the acquire section of the navigation pane and we will double click on the build acquisition batch. Now for the set name, as we went over before, you can name it whatever you would like. We will name it, this one, unknown, and the date. We need to select the method that we're going to use, which is that one. We will add the set, add the samples. We will take out any of these pre-labeled designations that we don't want. We will only inject one unknown, so we'll just leave that number as one. We will designate a vial position. Now, in order to make sure that we have the correct space open in the auto sampler, let's check the auto sampler vial openings right now. So, let's see. I'm going to open this. So we seem to have lots of space, and I don't think with the quantitative samples we don't have that many, so we'll just put the unknown in vial number two. The other ones can follow. Okay. So let's go back here and we'll say vial position two. The injection volume is correct. Our comment, we're just going to label it an unknown. We will go to the submission tab. And there is our submit button. We'll go ahead and submit that to the queue. And again, all this is exactly what we have done before. Let's check the queue. Scroll down to the end. It tells us that the sample is waiting. You can tell from the queue server that the, the instrument is still in the standby mode. So again, we're going to deselect the button that reserves the instrument for tuning. We're going to equilibrate the instrument. Now, there are two equilibrate icons. One, you can designate time frame that you would like the instrument to spend at calibrating, or you can tell it the instrument is ready right now to go ahead and get started, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to tell it that it's ready. Then the submit, the start sample button shows up. We're going to click that. You can see in the queue server that it's waiting. It has to adjust itself and download method parameters and things like that before it actually injects. So, during this time, we're going to close the queue, let's get back our navigation pane, and we're going to go ahead and build another batch, which is going to be for our, our quantitative samples. So, we will designate, set name, we will select the appropriate method, in this case, it's called the GBI quant method. We're going to add the set. We're going to add the samples. And in this case, let me see how many samples we've got here. We've got 16 samples. Okay. 
we put the unknown in vial slot two, we'll start with three right here. This is where the function we talked about earlier comes in handy. If you highlight the entire column and then right click, you can use the auto increment function to auto increment all of your vial positions. And we're going to fill out the comment section with whatever designations we want to use for our calibrators and controls. Now this set, we've got two sets of calibrators, what we've designated an A and a B set, and we have a negative control and two positive controls that go with the calibrators. So we will say A, zero. Now, another function that we can use the software for that's similar to the auto increment where we highlight the entire column, is we can also only highlight a few boxes at a time and right click and perform the auto increment function and it will do the same thing. That will save a little time. We'll call these the B section. Right click and auto increment. Then we've got our negative control and our A control and the B control. Now, since we have bothered to type all this information in, and it is 16 lines long, we can go ahead and save this batch. So in case something happens and we need to resubmit it, we don't have to retype it again. So we go to File and do Save As, and we will name it the quant and today's date. Okay. Then. We talked about earlier using the quantitation tab in the acquisition batch function to designate which samples were standards and which ones were knowns. So we will do that here. Now it's a drop down menu and you can do the same function that we performed before about highlighting a list saying fill down so it will automatically designate the first how many do we have uh, 15 no 13 and we'll, we'll go ahead and automatically designate those as standards and we're going to leave our controls as unknowns you could make them any other selection that you wanted to. For our purposes and our experience, sometimes when you designate things as QC samples, for instance, it will actually put those samples onto the calibration curve, which we don't want to have happen. So we'll leave the controls themselves as unknowns. And since I have changed this batch now, I need to go ahead and save it again. Yes. And I will select the batch that we just designated, save asks me if I want to replace it, say yes. Then the submit tab, we're going to go ahead and submit all of these to the queue. Now before we talked about in this submit status box, it will let you know if there are any errors. And in, and in this case, it's not necessarily an error so much as it is just some information. It tells you that you have multiple samples that are going to be injected and only one data file. This is what we talked about before. You're going to have one file with multiple injection data in it, and it's easier to tab through those. So that's exactly what we want it to do. So we will go ahead and submit that batch, and you can tell from the status column that everything has been submitted. We will check the queue, and everything appears to be in its place. Now what we need to do is, since we have successfully submitted this, we need to go ahead and load our samples into the auto sampler. So let's open the auto sampler. Pull that out. Did you hold that for I me? I will. Okay. Oops. Uh, 
Let's see what we got here. Just move one of these over to be the unknown. We can put one of these controls. Okay. We'll put that control in there. And here is our list of quantitative samples. Wow, that's a little hard to get in there. Put our top back on here. Whoops, I'm holding this the wrong way. Okay. Okay. We are nice and loaded. We are just waiting for the instrument to start injecting. So I think that is the entire section on um, the injection of unknowns and quantitative samples.